I don't know what happened. I was trying to make a video for Steven to um, to see about what we could tell him about um, his his grandpa Irma. Well, Grandpa Irma, as far as I was concerned, he was always awfully good to me, and he was always good to his boys. He thought about you guys. His thoughts were mainly about you guys because you were something in his life that was good and he hadn't had much good in his life but he loved you he loved you boys so dearly and he loved he loved his grandpa too and his grandma and like I say I don't remember you I should but I don't a lot of things I should remember that I don't anymore <laughs> but that's life you know when you get to be 88 years old, you are allowed <laughs> to make mistakes and not remember. And I'm at that stage right now where I, my memory sure isn't what it should, should be or what it used to be. I, um, Stephen was really close with um, Uncle Ermel, his, his Grandpa Ermel, your brother. Yeah. Really close. Well, he was a good guy, there's no doubt about that. You may hear otherwise, but I think he was a good guy, and I think God thought he was a good guy, because he gave him, he gave him you, didn't he? <laughs> and that alone is a blessing, whether you want it to be or not. Accept the blessings that the good Lord gives you, and be thankful for them. That's, that's Grandma's wisdom, there's <laughs> <laughs> not much. <laughs> All but just keep going like you're going, and you're going to do all right. You're going you're gonna to live up to your grandpa's name. And <laughs> I know that's what you really want, is to be like grandpa. <laughs> because grandpa was a good guy. It's, uh, he was a little on the religious side, but it helped him to believe what he had to believe in order to survive. But I, I don't know, maybe that's not the truth, but that's the way I see things. And, he gave him to your dad to love, and you, you love your dad, and that's, if you got that, honey, you got everything. Because uh, I know that, because I know what my granddaughter and my grandkids mean to me. And the oldest one, I think, is what, 17? Your, your great-grand? Great-grandson great, 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 is 19. Andres is 19. God. <laughs> and he is a wonderful boy. His mother did a real good job of raising him. I thank you for that, Lord. And I thank you that he found his boy. And that he loves him and he wants the best for him. And you're going to have the best. You know, believe Grandma on this. God loves you and he's going to take care of you. Sometimes it seems like he's forgot all about you, but... He really has, in the long run, he's doing for you what needs to be done in your life right now. And that is to reach out, try to learn about your past, and be happy with your past. I think it's real good that you are contacting family. You can see what a lousy family we've been. And yet I'm happy. That's if you can find happiness, honey, that's the whole gamut of life. It really is to be happy. Ask your, ask your grandkids, and you've got grandkids, I know now. <laughs> and, uh, just accept what comes along. You can't change much if you can change something, and you feel it's the right thing to do, change it. Otherwise, just keep going like you're going. You're doing real good, honey, and we love you. <laughs> okay, that w that was wisdom from I think Great Aunt Margaret. <laughs> great, great aunt. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. No, I try to be. I try to do the best I can, and, and not uh, point the kids in any direction because I have a lot of false beliefs. I know that, but I also have a lot of good beliefs. I, I'm sure of that. <laughs> Because if I would, if I didn't have, I wouldn't have the grandkids now, and the grandkids 
the other day one of my grandkids came and we sat and talked for well he sat and talked for over an hour I know and like I told I'll tell you the same thing you can come to visit grandma anytime you want to you don't have to have a reason you just come and I got a comfortable chair you could even nod off in it <laughs> But I'm happy you've contacted the family. You got you got a good family, whether you believe it or not. And you'll find as time goes on that how wonderful your family is and they are. They're a wonderful bunch of idiots. <laughs> so we're gonna try to call you, Stephen. Um we tried calling this morning. We didn't get in touch with you, but we'll try calling again or you can try calling us and um we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye, honey. Thank you.